up? It's your girl, Asia Manny, and today we're getting back into the Disney Princess Challenge. Um, I'm very excited. I don't think I've updated the last episode, actually. I don't think I've done that yet. I need to do that. But anyways, <laughs> um, where did we leave off last time? I think we've finished Merida's part of the story up. We're just beginning Ariel today. Um, her, she is here, she is born, and she is ready to cause a whole lot of mischief. Um, <laughs> so, I'm very excited to begin Ariel's story today. I've done a, a little bit of behind the scenes work to try and make uh, things more fleshed out for, Mer uh, for Merida. Because you know how for Merida I got like an archery mod for her? For Ariel's story, I've done more with the mermaids. And so I'm hoping that this kind of works out, that it's more fun this way. I haven't, I've used this mod in the past, but I haven't in a minute. And it just recently updated like in March. So uh, hopefully crossing my fingers, it works nicely. Um, I would need a lot of save reminders today. Uh, just to make sure this crap doesn't break on me. You know how it is. Um, but we're gonna hope for the best today. We're gonna hope for the best. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at little Ariel. So I have gone and edited her. Oh my God, it's like my finest work. It's my finest work for the Disney princess babies. Okay, look at her. I changed her into a toddler because you guys know we're not really going to be doing much for infants and stuff like that. So look at her. She is perfect. <laughs> you cannot tell me otherwise. She is perfect gorgeous she is perfect the best little mermaid i think i could have possibly made her purple top her green bottoms her eyes her everything the hair i am just so ready no idea how long <laughs> she's gonna be a toddler for i worked so far hard on her toddler appearance that i don't know what else we're gonna do here also so the way let me just go through. So the official Disney Princess website for Ariel, what they say the challenge is for Ariel, which I, you know, you know me, I, I follow more of the movies and the books or whatever, and I add a little bit more flourishes. So for Ariel, um, it says, you've always loved water and dreamed of becoming a mermaid. Sadly, that never came true, but you did find a man that um, you did find the man of your dreams, and that was good enough. <laughs> when Ariel becomes a teenager, her story begins. But also, look down here, it says, if you have island living, Ariel is a mermaid, you can adjust the rules to see fit. So I have island living, so I have mermaids, so I can make her a mermaid in my story, obviously. So for Ariel, it says, must have the loves outdoor trait, must own a pool and swim in it every day. Um, so must basically go swimming, be in the ocean as much as possible if you're a mermaid. Uh, must marry a beautiful sim who shares at least one trait the same as your own and have kids. To me, this is not fleshed out enough. To me, this is pretty boring. Um, so I have devised my own ramifications for Ariel. Um, and I'm going to try and follow them as best I can. So basically I kept the, she has to have the loves outdoor trait or child of the sea and romantic. I think those are the three traits I'm going to try and give her as she gets older. Um, for me, when she is able to be like in a mermaid form, which sadly is as early as a teen, as a child, she can't really have a tail, which sucks because I would rather her have a tail, but whatever. Um, must go swimming every day. So I'm going to have her try and spend as much time as she physically can in the water. Or in her house, which is set to look like it's underwater because of all the bubbles and stuff that come up. So I'm going to have it so she can't leave her lot. You know, she can't leave this area. So we're going to have her try and be in this water as much as possible. Um, as a child, I'm going to have her skip school and she's going to kind of break out and do more adventuring. You know, she's going to be very adventurous. She's going to try and get out of the house as much as she can within the ramifications that that is acceptable and stuff like that. And I have, I've decided, so Ariel from a young age has been fascinated with just regular old humans, okay? Um, so I've decided for Ariel, something that could be really fun for her as a kid is that she's obsessed with humans. So let me see her bedroom. This house is going to break my whole computer also trying, just it trying to load in this whole thing. Where's Ariel's bedroom? 
Her bedroom is this green one here. Good, good lordy, good lordy. Okay. Her bedroom is technically this green one. So I think it'd be really fun for or for Orioles, for Ariel storyline. If she likes to play human. Also, this is like could be like a little cute sandcastle house. So I'm gonna put that out there actually for the kids to play in. Lord knows how long they'll be a kid, but oh gosh, it's gonna be so hard to freaking film in this house. I love the extravagant, beautiful houses, but gosh, sometimes there's is like the playability of them a nightmare. Like these are the people who just like to play the game or who just like to build. They ain't the people who play the game because this is a nightmare for trying to actually play in. But it's so perfect. How could I not use it? Where's the dollhouses? There's so many of them. You'd think I'd be able to find them quicker. All right. Which one do I want to work? Which one, do, which, which one really kind of fits us? I think the castle. The castle kind of fits. Now, I hate it being this massive. So if you size it down, it still works the same. Just so you know, if you've always been annoyed at how massive they are. Sizing them down, it still works the same, so. I'm just gonna size it down. So she's gonna be obsessed with playing human, and I think that's gonna really irritate her dad and stuff like that. All right, little Ariel. Oh no. No, if we look at her from far away, her hair disappears. I hate it when hair CC does that. Like, why does it have to do that? Also, here's the thing. What are we doing with Merida? Because, if you've ever watched The Little Mermaid, I just started Chemo Queen. Just started this. Um, and yes, I do have the Mermaid expansion mod for Ariels. So look forward to that. But what are we doing with Merida? Because if you have ever watched The Little Mermaid 2, I know we technically killed a, uh, Trident's other wife, Athena. But Ariel doesn't grow up with a mom. Her mom is not central to her story. Her dad is. So, are we going to pull a bell on Merida and kill Merida before Ariel's a teen? I think I should make that a poll for you guys on Twitch. Because, like, I kind of need the space in the house. Merida's not really doing it for me. So, we've, we've played her out. Let me see. You guys let me know, okay? Ooh, not a five minute. I almost started that with a five minute timer. Actually, I can put two minutes on because it's not like it's life or death, right? Well, it is kind of, but. Double the trauma for Triton. Yeah, I mean, like, he's supposed to basically be the, the main parent for Ariel as she grows up. And Ariel doesn't really know her mom that much. So I think it's cute that she's interacting with her mom right now. I think that's very sweet. But, like, I'm totally fine with merit off at some point oh my gosh Flynn Ryder also has to go down guys yeah Flynn has to go <laughs> I need to get rid of Flynn he's still alive Merida doesn't even know him I don't think does she even know him yeah I think it's time for Flynn to go Why does it, are you, Harley, are you suggesting we send her to the farm? <laughs> she doesn't even know her grandpa. Hmm. Oh, also, um, tr Ariel's twin brother who was an accident we didn't I didn't mean to have a twin brother for Ariel but now he's kind of here so Atlas is also a, a toddler as well but we don't really care about him right now <laughs> that's how we start a feral Friday oh everybody's saying kill so yeah Merida I'm so sorry to say this but you are uh most likely going I'm sorry and I mean it's not like the other daughters are really that t attached to Merida either like they don't really know Merida so they kind of wouldn't care about her either. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know. Oh, 
are the other princesses doing? Do they know this is their house still? I have no idea how play- why- like, why is there a random fridge? Like, and there's a couch in this room. Like, I don't understand what's happening. Like, is it- is it just for snacks halfway through? Because they get really tight. Why is there trash in every single room? Why is there just a pile of trash? Me not understand. I think the two purple- no, where are the purple's rooms? Are you over here? Are you technically this one? Do you have a bed assigned to you? No, you don't. Okay. Well, this is your bedroom. Alana goes in here. Arista, you are red, so this is your room. I thought I assigned all these beds to these girls, but apparently I did not. Um, your bedroom is this one. Tina. And I'm missing half the other sisters. <laughs> <laughs> because um, I had to move them out to edit all their appearances nicely, which I'll be bringing them, them back in. Um, I'm going to have the other three sisters. Like, they're just out and about right now. Three of the other sisters are just away. <laughs> they're away at camp for a little bit. All right, so Meredith's got to go. So where are, you, where are we thinking going in Ariel's toddlerhood or childhood? We'll just go with childhood. Who is the builder? I believe this one, once again, is by uh, Tomlin YouTube, if I remember correctly. I want to say so. I went from one kid to multiples in Flash. I know. How dare we? Oh, that's right. I added a freaking thingy out here. I'm glad I did because, I don't know, I don't think the toddlers can really manage going <laughs> through this entire castle. So this is probably better for them, to be honest. They get their own little castle outside while they're too young to uh, do anything else. <laughs> is there a way I can make it look more like, yeah, like a sand castle? We'll do that one. It looks like a nice little beach castle. Um, What else do I need? I wanted to get sand. The quicker, the better. Oh, no. <laughs> I wonder if they did the challenge, too, or if they just built everything. So I know for a fact that they have a big Disney save. Like, they have, like, a just a big old Disney save. So I know that's part of the reason they have everything. It's because of that. Like, they have... A whole save file that is every world is dedicated to a Disney character. So, want the people be the people. <laughs> posture check. That y'all making me have good posture. Mm. <laughs> How are you able to build outside the lot? I have a move objects on, so I can like shove things as far out of the lot as I can. But there has to be a portion of them all still on the lot. So BB dot move object move objects on is the moving cheat in the Sims. Um, and it lets you really push things to the edge of the lot, which I use all the time. I always push things pretty much as far as I can. <laughs> um, walls and fences and stuff still can't go over, but objects, uh, they can't like swing sets. I put swing sets almost on the outside of my lot all the time. Just because I need more room to get them as far away from the house as I can. Or they could be jokesters. Oh, look. I love how Trident's Trident just gets waved around constantly, though. Also, I have another outfit for Trident. So, I know, like, when he's in his human form, he doesn't really look as Trident-y. But I also gave him this outfit... You know, for younger Trident, so he's like, you know, hot young Trident. So let me know how you feel about this one. Because Trident doesn't wear a shirt. So I feel like the, oh, the overcoat, while it gives Trident, it just didn't give enough Trident. It's Triton. Triton. I always say Trident, but it's like Triton. T-R-I-T-O-N, something like that. I need to make sure I say that. Over. 
<laughs> Riley, thank you so much for the follow. Not a posture check when I immediately just slouched down in my chair. Always, 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 always. I'm so bad at staying straight. And I know that's like the purpose of the posture check is for you guys to tell me to like sit up straight, but I can't. <laughs> sure, she can be family oriented. I guess you can all be family oriented. I don't know why. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to film these angles. Everything's so tiny. Okay. Is there really anything I could do for Ariel as a kid? Am I gonna have to? After I made a perfect, perfect little toddler, am I really gonna have to age her up already? Oh, look at them dancing. Trident doesn't even know he's about to lose another wife. I'm so sorry, Trident. I know we killed your last one so you could get with Merida, but yeah, you're gonna have to say goodbye all over again, buddy. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so here's little Ariel dreaming about humans again. See, she just loves playing human. You know, she's got a little princess with a pretty dress and she's like, I just love humans. Even from a child, it was a young fascination of hers. All right, well, all right, moving on. <laughs> Why did I even edit her and make her so cute as a toddler if I knew I was gonna send her to be a child so fast? <laughs> all right, well, if I age up her, I have to age up her brother at the same time. Oh, sorry, Ariel. Okay, what trait can I give her as a kid? Can I give her, yes, I can already give her loves outdoors. That is perfect. Make her a social butterfly even though she can't go out. Sad. The cruelest thing you could really do to a sim. Uh, as commit sim command, set age, child. Black Widow Challenge King Triton did it? Oh no. <laughs> One, two, three. Uh, Atlas, uh, no cats for you. How about you get. How about her brother is more of a goody two shoes? Like he very much listens to Trident. So um, he'll be the complete opposite of Ariel on this. He's a child of the ocean. He just loves being in the ocean. Doesn't even dream of being a human at all. Why are you like this? Why do you look like this? Atlas, please no. Please don't. <laughs> I've been rewatching Disney movies and I'm in love. Just finished Mulan. But when I don't know what to watch, but I feel like watching something, I will put on a Disney movie constantly. I love just watching Disney movies. It's my comfort. Why? I mean, I get you're a mermaid. I got to get rid of this. Whatever this is, this comes from, I have to get rid of these. Because I just hate that. <laughs> They're the most annoying things ever. They always pop up on my Sims. I don't want them. I know I like I wanted them for all these alien cute decals, but I can't get rid of just a couple. Like I want to get rid of like the ones I hate, like these ones and this one, but I can't. It won't let me. I either have to get rid of them all. Like look, this is so cool. This is such a cool little skin tone for an alien if I wanted. But I can't get rid of all of them. Like I can't get like, and I hate this one. This one especially, the freaking glitter forehead, a galaxy forehead, whatever you wanna call it. I hate it, I hate it. <laughs> okay. Let me just fix up brother for a second. Like I said, he's gonna be more of the goody two shoes of the two. Like he's gonna be the one that listens to Trident. I think this kind of hair for him. It's super cute. Also, why are you ignoring everything? Why do my sims always do this to me where they don't transfer their hairstyle over? Like, I don't want to make this a long process. I'm just trying to change his appearance quickly. Okay. 
Now I'm going to try and quickly change his appearance. Let's go for like something. What gives mermaid? Probably a Solani look, right? Is there a Solani? Oh, wait. Ooh. This gives mermaid kid, right? Also just barefoot. Barefoot that. Oh, he's got mermaid teeth. No, 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 no shark teeth. Shark bait. Hoo ha ha. Um, honestly, that's pretty cute. Not gonna lie. Why do I care? I'm not even going to be, they're not even going to be kids long. I do this every time <laughs> where I just feel the need to edit all of their outfits, even though I know they're going to be kids for 0.2 seconds, but I can't help it. I have to do it every single time. I have to edit their entire appearance. Like we're going to see every single one of these outfits. Which is why I'm trying <laughs> to use Salami looks. What do I do this to myself every time? All right, there we go. There is there is her brother. Do you have the glitch with the spell caster casters having no faces? No, but I always get this. <laughs> All right, so now we have a very young Ariel. Oh, she's already so cute. What hair do I use for her? <gasps> oh! This is so cute. Oh, she's got shark teeth. Hold on, I take it back. Ariel, no. Honey, no shark teeth for you either. Here's my problem. This isn't really... Like, she doesn't ever put her hair back in a bun. But I so want to because it's so cute. Or not a bun, a ponytail, my bad. As a child, she always leaves her hair down. And I do have an aerial hair. Um, which is the same one that I used for her as a top. I have this. I got this hair, which is technically closer to Ariel's actual hair. So we're gonna use it. As much as I actually don't want to. <laughs> but it's we're doing period accurate here. We're doing accurate. Accuracy is key. Even if it deletes, the farther away we go. Oh, what beautiful sunglasses you have. All right. A tribute to Melody. Oh my god. So I was thinking with Ariel. I, I know Ariel's supposed to give birth to our next Disney princess and everything, but like, what if we also give get Melody? Because Melody is also a Disney princess. I'm just saying. There. I think that gives an Ariel vibe. And normally I wouldn't give kids this top just because I don't like, like, Drop tops on kids, but this is Ariel, you know, the queen of the shell bra, so. <laughs> I mean, like, it's slightly more okay this time. I'm trying to give her, like, Amanda, does it matter? We gotta ask the question, does it matter? And I fail at this question every single time. Now my problem, exactly, Ariel. We're going for a general vibe. The only outfits that I need to actually put thought and effort into are the ones that we're gonna see. Like her sleepwear. And, <laughs> oh, the Melody dress. Oh. I got Melody, I got Lilo. Okay, Ariel, when she's an adult, she has like more of a pink night. Oh, like this. So I'm gonna give her that as a kid. Honestly, that's kind of a vibe, so I kind of like that. Okay. Uh, child. Swimwear. Let's go with the same blue, or same blue, purple, purple top. <laughs> Do we give her the green, <laughs> the green pants to symbolize her mermaid tail? 
for her swimwear. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Just to, symbol just to symbolize her mermaid tail that she can't have yet because she's a child. <laughs> Can I give her green so oh, Wait a second! Oh, shut the front door! <gasps> ah! Look at that! Oh, heck yeah. Look at this! That's like scale tights! Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> that worked out perfectly. I will take it. Okay, pair of shorts. Do we have green shorts? I guess that's as green as we're getting. All right. Hold on, and cold weather, purple. Gaharin. All right, there we go. Ariel is done. <laughs> Mia, thank you so much for sharing the life. That's so sweet of you. Falch, I've been watching the sequels. The Little Mermaid is next, too. I was watching Beauty and the Beast on Christmas on Easter. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. Yes, and I will save as soon as we get out of here. Yes, oh my gosh, the lullaby Ariel sings to Melody at the very beginning of movie two is so cute. Also, why do not more Disney princesses have movies about their lives after their first movie? Like, Ariel, I mean, Cinderella has three movies, yes, but like, we don't see her breaking out and having a family and kids. I want to see that. Like, instead of Disney giving us more live actions or more renditions of the same movies all over again, take the favorite characters we all know and love. And do what they did with Ariel. Uh, just, uh, but like, put more effort into it. You know, not don't give it to the B cast of creators and artists in The Sims. Give it in The Sims in Disney. Give it to the A team. All right, that does all the fancy editing and renditions. Keep it with the simple 2D style or the t the style that matched their original movie. That way we can see the favorite Disney princesses that we all grew up loving, but. We can also see their kid, like a new start. Put a new spin on it. <laughs> Give me something new. All right, little Ariel, if you're tired, your bed's upstairs. Oh, I guess, uh, buddy, you're, you can sleep <laughs> in Sister Adela's room because she doesn't technically live here right now. Because they were directed to sequels. Yeah, they like they they gave it to their B team and they didn't really put any production average, which is why some people don't know that there's certain sequels to different movies. Um, I think that's what they should do nowadays. Like, just go back. <laughs> like, go to Sleeping Beauty. Want a, a, a Disney princess who classically is not very well known in her own story. Like, it's mainly about Prince Philip and saving her. Um... I think it'd be cool if, Sleep if Sleeping Beauty got a second movie about her and Philip being parents and like her kid. Or who was another really good one? Tiana. Oh my God. Show me Tiana. Like this workaholic mom that tries to balance, you know, running a business with having children and maybe she's uptight about it and something. Like, give me like the parent, the, the, the balance. I want the balance. I want to see it. But also bring me a new story about Tiana's daughter. Or her son, if we're going to do Disney Prince thing. Like, give me the rest of her life. I think, yes, Tiana is getting a TV sh a ser or a show or a TV series. But I doubt she has a kid in it. If she has a kid in it, I'm going to be so stoked. But I don't think she does. I don't think she does. And Auntie Charlotte would be the best. Yes! Oh, my God! Tiana and Charlotte would be so cool. Oh. Like, see their story progress more as they get older. And maybe Charlotte finds another prince. And we get to see Charlotte marrying, a, like, Naveen's best friend. Not his younger brother. <laughs> uh, yeah, I believe this house is by Tomlin YouTube. It literally looks like a giant sandcastle. And it's amazing. Do, 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 do. 
Can I be that good at making things? Absolutely not. Nope. I, that's why I download things from the gallery. All right, Ariel. The day is done. The sun is shining. And can I... Have you go swim around? I'm going to try and have her do as much swimming and being in the water and stuff like that as I can. That way, um, you know, she still feels like a mermaid child. Like, she has to go and go swimming every single day of her life. That's one of the rules. So we have to keep Ariel in the water every single day. And I feel like she would like it adventuring and exploring out. I feel like her dad tells her that she has to stay near the house. But she just kind of does not do that. So she's just out and about. So I'm also here seeing this. So I downloaded the Better Mermaids mod and it says choose mermaid tail. But I choose the mermaid tail and it doesn't give them a tail. Like even if it was just de decor decorative, I would still love to see it. But I don't see anywhere that I could put the tail on. Like, she does a little interaction that shows she picked a tail, but I don't see it. Release self. Mermaid. Choose mermaid tail. Do a tail flip. <laughs> that's a beautiful little tail flip. Oh, she's snorkeling! Oh, that's perfect. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Another thing that I really want to try and do with Ariel is I want one of the things that we need to do with Ariel is she needs to become a level 10 singer before she meets Prince Eric. So actually I'm going to have her do just a little bit of swimming in the water. And then we're going to go ahead and have her work on her singing. This kid reminds me of when you're a kid in the pool and your parents tell you you're going to turn into a fish if you keep staying in the water any longer. <laughs> oh my gosh. Gabby, thank you so much for sharing the life. And I, Annie, 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 thank you so much for sharing the live as well. Thank you. Those of you that are watching me on TikTok, I'm also live on Twitch. So if you'd like to see the entire screen in much better quality, um, Go, go stand here. If you'd like to see the entire stream in a much better quality, um, more colorful, and be over here with my Twitch people. Twitch is my main platform. I do all my polls, predictions, and all the fun stuff over on Twitch. There's a link in my TikTok file that will take you straight to Twitch if you're interested. Otherwise, you can go find me on Twitch. My name is Hey Shmady on Twitch and on YouTube, just as it is on TikTok. Go, Ariel, go. She's, she like swims with such force <laughs> like again she's a natural swimmer because she's like technically already a mermaid even though she's just a child but like she's so powerful with that look at her go look at that confidence of this little girl <laughs> mama j thank you so much for following the live all right can i have her practice singing yes and I'm going to cheat her creative skill being to level 10. That way we can actually like already start building her singing skill. Because as a child, they need to get their some skill, like their base skills to 10 before they can really build their other skills. And I don't want to deal with that. It's amazing that Eric falls for this in the future. <laughs> get it, Ariel. We love you. Uh, Country Girl and Alicia, thank you so much for the follows. Glitter Ghost, thank you so much for the follow. Hannah Banana, thank you so much for that 15 month resub. Thank you so much. Jack Xavier, thank you for the follow. Green, thank you for the follow as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We love a rare Mandy cheat book. I cheat all day long. 
You guys know I cheat all day long. That is not a rare Mandy cheat. <laughs> I have certain cheats that I refuse to use at times, but I cheat all day long. <laughs> How I sound when I sing. <laughs> she sounds like one of the stepsisters from Cinderella. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> I finally watched the live action act uh, Cinderella movie the other day. It's on Disney Plus again, finally. I was waiting for it to come back to Disney Plus. Because I'd never actually watched that live action Cinderella movie. It was really good. I loved it. I'm now obsessed with the song... Um, Lavender's Blue Dilly Dilly. I, well, I love it. I've sang it to my son like three times since watching the movie. <laughs> oh my god, a chipmunk? Where? Oh, there's a seashell though over here. Oh my gosh, Ariel needs to collect things. Okay, so I think she should have to get to singing level five as a child before we can do much else. But I think she should also find, like, go snorkeling for things a lot and go find things. How did I not even think about that till now? Collect sh shells and other items. Oh, and human objects. Oh my gosh, we should try and find some really stupid objects, like a plate that she's obsessed with and keeps in her inventory or something. Oh no, she sounds like a chipmunk. Okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> it's even worse at triple speed. Oh jeez, honey. All right, Ariel, you've gotten up to a skill level three. I think we can stop that for now. Let's go do. Is that a dolphin out there? Those are dolphins out there. Hold on, Ariel. <laughs> can you talk to dolphins as a child? Curious. Curious. I should have her. Oh. Do I not get to see them? Are they only visible from far away? <gasps> they are. How dare they tease me like that? Oh, wait, no. Here they are. <laughs> Look at the dolphins. Oh, they're getting the fish. Oh, they're schooling the fish. How nice. All right, and you guys are going to get me to save again, so I will do that just in case. Because I don't remember the last time I saved. <laughs> All right, let's have you go back here and snorkel again. So she's found a shell. I want to keep as many like weird objects in her inventory as possible because that's just so aerial. So I'm going to try and have her find at least a couple more things before she goes to bed for the day. You can befriend them as a child. I thought you could. Mermaid. Hide mermaid four and choose mermaid tail. But I want to see children as mermaids. I downloaded the mod. It said you could. Like, let me see. Children mermaids don't have the same occult and all about mermaids want to do both tail styles and island living because we're children, as well as custom tails from my den. These selected from the pie menu on the child symbol set and my tails are as much as I started with my child's card and things in my experience. <laughs> Lexi, look! Their child sims have tails! That's what I want! This is what I wanted! But I don't know how to do that! Like, why don't my sims have tails? Is it something I have that conflicts? Because I really want to see that work. I was really trying to get it to work, but I have no idea how it works. Fetch fish. Sleep below the surface. Oh, she disappears. I don't like that. Come back up. Get back up here, Ariel. Ariel, I really don't like that. Okay, thank you. Like, she has the animation to have a tail on in that moment, but I don't, I don't see it. I, I gotta click the water. Sleep, back, swim around, swim here, sweep below the surface. Fetch fish. 
Oh, she just disappears again. But I'm going to have her fetch some fish, because why not? Maybe the leggings are blocking it? I don't know. Because, like, what's she supposed to wear otherwise? Tail flip. Flip the tail, girly. Wow, look at you go, Errol. You're amazing. <laughs> I will say, does anybody have that mod that would also know and would be able to tell me what I'm doing wrong? Dive for kelp. Oh my god, what a fish she got! She got scorpion fish! That thing is amazing looking! Ricky, thank you so much for the follow! It gives me an option to put on a tail, but no matter what one I select, it doesn't pop up. Hide mermaid form or choose tail flip. Leafy style. Let me try spiky style. Green. Yeah, I got nothing. Maybe I didn't install some things correctly. I don't know. But like the main part of the mod works, which is interesting. Did you download the tail sets? I downloaded the sole link it gave me. <laughs> Enter it. Let me see something. No idea. <laughs> I am curious, though. Why don't you guys listen to me where I tell you what bedrooms are yours? Oh, hey, Merida, honey. Kind of forgot about you for a second. Um... Why don't you come with me? Why don't you just walk right over here? Oh, what if, what if, hear me out here. Swim here. Get up. Swim here. Swim here. No, don't kill her. <laughs> Look at you go, though, Merida. How are you so good at swimming? No, 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 no. Stay here. I'm waiting on Trident to come out here. I told him to. You can't come here? Why not? Oh my god, cannonball. <laughs> please, please cannonball. I have to see this. No, it was going to be the longest jump of all time. It was going to be great. Mermaids don't know how ladders work? Well, good thing there's a staircase over here. Why can you not come down here? I'm going to teleport him this way. Please come here. Merida, don't you try to escape? You try to escape. There we go, Trident. That's all I needed you to do is go over here for me. God bless him for getting his tail out, though. I swear half my sims don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, so the story is going to go that Merida tried her hardest to keep up with Trident and swim in the sea. Because Merida's not a mermaid. She's not a mermaid. 
Um, so... Oops, a daisies accident. Try to do you not see your wife dying over here? Okay, you just go swim and have fun then. Um while well, your wife just passes. You cannot escape. Hey, hey, Merida. Just just go down. Merida, just go down. <laughs> Just go down, Merida! What do we do here? Okay, there we go. She finally... No? We get, give up! Oh. Merida? <laughs> she wouldn't give up! I don't know! <laughs> okay, well, I have no idea if she even has. A flippin' thing or not now. Alright, now because of the tragic passing of his wife, could you stop swimming for five seconds? I'm gonna stop, stop, trident, trident. Try My sims don't listen to me. He has now decided he's heartbroken and that the sea, you know. The open ocean is too dangerous. So he doesn't even like Ariel swimming far out. He's afraid something's going to happen to her. So he doesn't like that Ariel has been sneaking off in the middle of the night to go snorkeling and do other things into the sea. And he's like, how dare she? Where is that Ariel? Where is that girl? Meanwhile, Ariel's just out in, like, open ocean. <laughs> I'm going to need her tombstone, though. Like, I need it. Is it, is it on the lot? It's here. We got it. Don't worry. Found it. We have it here. Um, let's go ahead and put that in tridents. See, okay, so we're gonna have to say. Oh, I need to take care of Flynn Rider too. Flynn Rider also needs to go. He needs to go somewhere. Um, Flynn Ryder, could you just come here? Oh, we don't know him. I'd have to summon him. Is there a mailbox in this lot? Do we? Yeah, it's right here. <laughs> uh, so commands. Um, Solani summon, summon Sam by name. Flynnigan Ryder. Finn. Writer. I had to like think for a second to see if I've typed the right name or not. <laughs> All right, Flynn, I, I'm so sorry to do this to you, except that I kind of have to. Um, but you're, you're old now, so you gotta go. Rapunzel was a very long time ago. So, I'm sorry, but you should have been gone a second ago. <laughs> Goodbye, Flynn! We love you, Flynn Rider. Eugene Fitzherbert. Rapunzel gave birth to Belle. And Belle, because she was Meredith's mom, turned into a bear at some point. <laughs> Goodbye, Flynn. Now what to do with his urn? Because I don't usually put husbands at, uh, at the graveyard. Oh, Felipe was adopted by the Cario, or Felipe was adopted by the karaoke Legends household. Okay, here is the thing, guys. Let's go ahead and try to drop the gravestones off at the graveyard. Now the last time I did this, my game crashed when I tried to do it. So hopefully I can drop the gravestones off over there with little to no problem. Can 
Eugene lived a long, good life. He did. Maybe another mod's conflicting it. I wouldn't be surprised. I have quite a few mods. I have at least 10 mods. Or not 10. At least 20 mods. Uh, way more CC than that, though. All right. Let's turn the season to summer, please. That way everything's in bright, beautiful colors. So I got Flynn Rider. Um, I got Merida. So this grave is selected for Belle when Belle passes. So Merida is supposed to go here. Now Flynn Rider. Because I don't want Trident to have to hold on to your grave. Uh, Flynn, I'm going to put your gravestone right behind me. I don't normally do this, okay? I'm going to hide his in Rapunzel's. So they're there together. <laughs> now let me save. Should save every now and then. Okay. So this will be Merida's. Now, obviously, let's think of decorations for Merida's grave. We got to think bear. I We need a couple bears. I should try and find bow and arrows. We need the color orange. Those are just a couple things I'm thinking of. Um, is there anything else that should be required to be on her grave? Let's see. Where can I find? Oh, oh, oh okay. Freaked me out for a second. Stop doing that. It's freaking me out. Bear, bear, orange flower. Scotland! <laughs> Scotland! A plaid rug. Ooh, I will try to find plaid. Just throwing out a couple different bear things for theme. Just to see kind of what I want. Let's make this afternoon. That way I can see it in the best color possible. Thinking mama bear and a baby bear. Obviously, I don't know if the rest of the bears would be overkill. <laughs> Oh, horse for Angus, but I don't think there's one that's a good, um, I don't think we have a good Shire horse here. I'm going to look for Shire in specifics. I look like a wood. Wood car. I mean, would she care about her brothers enough, though, to have all her brothers on her thing, though? Um, I do have to find some plaid stuff. Is it? Is this enough of a kilt? <laughs> oh my goodness! This looks like the wisps, the will of the wisps. So I'm going to kind of have these peeking out behind her grave. Just to make it look kind of magical at night. Ugh, I wish I could find that wooden bear statue a little easier. I'm going to have a couple pieces of wood. No, I don't need a couple pieces of wood. Okay. Let's look for decor. You guys are saying we need some need some plaid and other handmade looking things. So I'm going to put this down because it's kind of the color palette of Merida. I'm going to need some orange in here still eventually. We'll need to get some orange in here. <laughs> Merida passed away in such an unceremonious occasion. <laughs> I feel bad for her. Like, we just said, okay, well, we're done with her. Bye. <laughs> um, I believe 
that what is there not a growing together? No, it's base game now. This, but it doesn't exist apparently. Oh, rocks. Now, rocks is one that may not make sense to some. Makes perfect sense to me. Oh, except for, I hate how it does the sand around them. Rocks for Merida makes perfect sense to me. Like the pillars, yeah, the rocks, I get it. Oh, yes. Okay, the sand, I will have to take the sand around these ones. This one happens a little farther back, so it's a little more set. All right, we need some of the Irish greenery. I think instead of the rug, let's do that Irish greenery all around. There we go. Okay. And I'm gonna need some orange in here. It's somewhere. Oh yeah, let's do a little mini save just to be safe. Is there a Tiana one? If so, can you show me? Yes, I will go ahead and show you all the past Disney Princesses uh, gravestones that we've done so far here momentarily. There. Yes. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Okay. I don't know how much other bear stuff. I'll be able to do. I know there is that amazing bear sculpture, but I can't just search for it because it won't pop up because it's a debug item. Can I look up debug items? Like content, can I, like there's, is there not a debug button? Because if the name of it is not in, it's not going to bring it up for me. So there's more things I feel like I could add to her grave, but I just can't. I don't know the search name for it. But I'm trying my best to find it. Woodcarver. If you could change your feet. Which I gotta add her bow and arrow stuff in still. Oh my gosh. That's kind of important, isn't it? <laughs> I do need to add to find her bow and arrow. Bow and arrow. No one let me forget bow and arrow before we leave. Because that's so important for her. I found a wolf. Is a wolf close enough? No? Dang it. See, we have these horses, but they're not really like her Angus. So I won't really use them. Angus, McBangus. I miss him already. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to find it. All right. Let me go ahead and show everything. Bells, thank you so much for the 18 month reset! Search debug? Oh, God. I don't know if I wanna, oh God. I guess searching debug, yeah, that is kind of a really nice option, isn't it? It just kind of brings up everything, doesn't it? 
Oh my gosh, is this actually a cake I can place or was it gonna spoil as soon as I'm done with it? Oh my gosh. Oh, that's it? These are the only items that pop up for debug. This is dumb. Never mind, I take it back. It's not as cool as I thought it was. Show activities and skills, filter, content, custom. The faded arrow that won her her right to choose her own fate and her trusty bow, which I'd love to hang on her grave, but I totally don't know how to do that. <laughs> nah, the target's a little much. But I did have her bow, which is something I really much wanted to add. All right, you know what, for Merida, I think that's pretty satisfactory. This would just kind of ruin the vibe. I think this will look good. And let's see that night. Yes, but those lights really bring it the pizzazz. It reminds me of the Will of the Wisps. And I know there is more Wisp stuff. That's amazing. But I'm satisfied with this. This this will do. This does it for me. All right. So let's take a look back at our previous Disney princesses. So here, the first Disney princess in my Disney Princess Challenge Legacy we did was Snow White. So this is Snow White's grave with all of her and her seven little dwarves, her apples, and so on and so forth. Just simple and cute. Then we had Cinderella with, of course, the clock, the pumpkins, Bruno, the pumpkin carriage, and some kid took the horse away. So now it's a pumpkin carriage with no horse. And there is a little mouse hole on her grave as well for her little micey friend. Um, then Cinderella gave birth to Tiana. And so don't worry, this alligator and the fireflies, they don't really appear in... Well, hold on. I need to save. Let me, like, put these in live, live mode. There, so here is Tiana's grave. Um, she's got a little froggy pond area with the frog spitting out the water. It's cute. We love Tiana's. I love her little frog pond grave with the prince and the frog on the top. Did I place down mosquitoes instead? No, I did the fireflies for Ray. And there is a crocodile that comes up on Tiana's graves at different points. Um, like Louis, the crocodile, comes to visit her and then tiana gave birth to sleeping beauty and i love sleeping beauty's grave her grave just cracks me up um so we have the dragon obviously we have the three good llamas the three good fairies to symbolize each of the different fairies oh apparently i've got lights showing but you know what it's fine whatever i don't care we of course have her bed her sleeping beauty bed and the spindle of the spinning wheel or the spinning wheel of the spinning wheel <laughs> as well so here is sleeping beauties sleeping beauties had twin girls those twin girls were anna and elsa so of course we have anna and elsa um elsa anna olaf we have orange well i guess i forgot to put orange on merida's grave but you know what? i don't care as much um uh, we have the frozen heart that elsa hit anna with um or gave we have orange to represent anna's uh two braid pigtails and then we have the painting behind the door. So the doors now in Anna's life are forever open. If you're wondering why Anna's grave has a door. <laughs> the doors for Anna and Elsa are forever open and they open up on the beautiful magical force behind them to symbolize their forever best friend, sistership, and how they died loving each other. Also, we threw in a bike for the bike that she rode in the house as a child because that scene was so freaking fun to film. <laughs> Her just riding the bike around in the in the house was really cute, and the uh, the blue and the pink rug to symbolize her outfit that she uses. <laughs> that was an open door. <laughs> um, and then we have Elsa's grave uh, over here. Obviously, Elsa's grave, pretty self-explanatory. We got snow, we got Olaf, we got ice. We got more snow, we got piles of snow, and we have the different crystals to symbolize the different elements um, of the, uh, the different five elements in the second Frozen movie. We have fire, we have water, we have Elsa, we have earth, and we have 
air. Yeah, got him. <laughs> and then moving on from Elsa, Elsa went ahead and gave birth then to Rapunzel. So here we have Rapunzel's grave over here. Oh, guys, I still think Rapunzel's grave is my favorite. There's just something that just screams Rapunzel at her grave, and it's so amazing. Like, I love her grave from the sun, the frying pan, the shades of purple, the paintbrush, the flowers all over the place, the, the, the painting easel with the picture of Rapunzel looking at her tower, uh, the little lamp. Like, oh, I love Rapunzel's grave. I think her grave is my favorite one that we've ever done. It's just perfect, and I love it so much. Then we have Belle's grave. Now, Belle has not passed yet. Belle is, she's not, she's, she's an adult, but she's not an elder yet. So Belle will probably not pass away until Ariel is in her adulthood. Or, no, Belle will not pass away until Ariel has a kid. So when Ariel has a child, that's when Belle will pass away and we'll bring her to the grave. But Merida, so in Ariel's story, Ariel doesn't really have her mom with her. So Merida did pass technically before her mom in a tragic accident at sea. So Merida is currently in the graveyard. <laughs> For the love of God, every time you say Belle, Bells, it's not always about you. <laughs> so there. Um, so Belle's grave will be added eventually and i mean you bells but merida has now joined the rankings i'm gonna save again just to be safe and then we'll head back home to go finish ariel's story thank you for dropping that off for us today trident what is the challenge this is the disney princess challenge it has been such a fun challenge i've really really adored doing this so far yeah. Why didn't I put their graves over here? Now, now the rotation's gonna be off. Cause where am I gonna put the other three graves? I don't want to move them, <laughs> but I feel like I might have to move them. Why didn't I think to put them over there? Because I still have to put Ariel's grave in here. I'll have to put Jasmine and Mulan's grave. I have three more graves to do. Why didn't I move them? Over there. Because now the line's going to... Oh, gosh, darn it. <laughs> I started watching this challenge after you did Sleeping Beauty's grave. I'm on Bell now. Oh, I love this challenge. It's so fun. Why are you glowing, child? Way, way do you glow. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can add one of the, da the daughters back. Which daughter do we want to come back with us? Aquata, Adela, Adrina. Let's do Adela, because she's the only blue one. <laughs> And Ariel is going to go in her little sandcastle and play human some more, which I'm just, I'm sure is infuriating King Trident. He's like, no, you shouldn't be doing this, Ariel. And Ariel's like, but I love the humans, Dad. They bring me peace and joy. And she loves them so much, she eventually falls asleep inside the castle. Because she loves being outside and one with nature. Am I doing Moana? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Yes, I am doing Moana. Yes, I'm sorry. I forgot to leave her out. Yeah, I'm doing Moana. Is she after? Does Ariel give birth to Moana? I'm trying to remember what order I had. Maybe Ariel gives birth. I should figure that out <laughs> right now. What order did I put them in? I have my sheet. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. So next princess is Moana. So I have it being Merida, Ariel. So we're on Ariel now. And Ariel will give birth to Moana. And then Moana will give birth to Jasmine. And then Jasmine will give birth to Mulan. I told you the very end of this challenge wasn't going to make sense because we're going to jump from a lot of cultures to a lot of cultures. I think I might want to... 
No, we'll do Moana next. We'll do Moana next. It's just going to be a little weird. We're going to jump around a sec. <laughs> Okay, Ariel, are you done sleeping? All right, sweetheart. So Ariel has to go out. First thing first, I'm going to make sure she goes out to the water because we have to make sure she gets ample water time every single day. So we're going to start with her snorkeling. But she needs to find some new things. She's only collected one fish, a seashell, and some kelp. And I feel like as a, hum or as a human lover, she needs to... To collect more things but it's hard to find random things in the ocean you know you think it'd be easier it's not damn my poor girl moa i'm sorry <gasps> did you find something Oh, I thought she got something. Die for kill, die for fish. If I die, have her die for water, does she catch anything? Is she not a mermaid? She is a mermaid, but child sims don't have tails, sadly. So she does do, like, some swim animations and stuff like that, but... She is a mermaid, but technically, um, kid mermaids don't do much. I do have a mod that allows me to do a little more, but, uh, not a lot. Does she find anything when she goes underwater like this? Um, the Disney Princess Challenge, basically you start with Snow White. Well, I guess you can start with whatever princess you want. But basically, every new generation is another Disney princess. So I started with Snow White. Then she she had Cinderella. Cinderella is one of the seven doors. Cinderella was originally Dopey until we figured out that we wanted Dopey to be Cinderella. So we changed Dopey's name to Cinderella. And then Cinderella gave birth to Tiana. Tiana gave birth to Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping Beauty ended up giving birth to twins, Anna and Elsa. Uh, Anna had her own kids with Kristoff, but Elsa continued on with Rapunzel, and then Rapunzel gave birth to Belle, and Belle gave birth to Merida, and now Merida gave birth to Ariel, and that's where I'm at currently. So, yeah, basically the challenge is you just work through the storylines of the different Disney princesses as best as you can in The Sims. There is official challenge rules, but to me the challenge rules provided don't go as in depth as i would like so i i story play a lot more i add different things to the challenge just because i i'm like that all right so ariel has got her swimming time in for the day i wish like kids could do more stuff but they can't now everybody's favorite part of the day ariel needs to practice her singing so I told you guys that I needed to get her to be level five of singing before I aged her up and she's at three. So I think we can get her to level five here real quick. No problem, Taylor. This is such an Amanda challenge. <laughs> what do you mean? To the chat. Who is your favorite playthrough so far? So are you asking which like princess was their favorite? Because if so, I think my favorite princess that we played so far... Tiana was fun, but I've had better. Snow White was ooh, a mess. Uh, Cinderella... Cinderella was really fun. I... Cinderella... I think it was... Did I spend like five playthroughs on just Cinderella's story? Like, we did a lot with Cinderella. I had so much fun with her. Sleeping Beauty was also a lot of fun. Cinderella and Sleeping Beauty, I really enjoyed their their stories. Um, Rapunzel, Rapunzel was fun. Elsa was fun. Anna was fun. But uh. Yeah, I think Cinderella and Sleeping Beauty... They were both really fun for me. 
I really enjoyed those too. Tiana was such a depart from the uh, the storyline that I had been doing, but Tiana's was really fun too, especially when we did the frogs, the cursed frogs that you guys hated. They, it was really funny. Oh. Hold on, she's gotta go pee real quick, so. Go into the ocean. Here, sweetie. Don't worry. You can... I thought you could relieve yourself. Relieve yourself. Yep. <laughs> Oh, beautiful. Oh, I hate how there's an animation for it. <laughs> the swimming has me dead. I know, it's a terrible animation. Hey, wait, hold on, is that, is that Aquata? Come home with me. You gotta come back to the family. There's a space available. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I could add one more. All right, if I see Adela or Adrena next, I'm adding them back to the house. <laughs> oh, also, since Ariel is um, a little mermaid, Ariel can only speak to other mermaids. And it basically is just her family. So Ariel's only allowed to speak to other merfolk. Um, she cannot talk to regular humans. So if we see Ariel as she's exploring more of the world here, as she becomes a teen, if we see more of her trying to talk to other Sims, we have to stop her and get her to go away. Like, she cannot be doing that. So we have to be really careful with that here in the Zoom. All right, I think enough time has passed that my sins are not going to be necessarily uh, very sad over their mother anymore. Also, let me just do this. Get it, Ariel. You're getting better and better every time. Hang on, let me go get my earplugs. <laughs> Let's be real, if you say you don't pee in the ocean, you're lying. <laughs> I mean, I think if we all have, if we've been in the ocean, I think we all have. You nervist, give me nightmares. <laughs> the cursed frogs give you guys nightmares. I followed the Disney Princess Challenge by um, Miss. This is the one I follow. Sims Challenge, Disney Princess Challenge, created by Miss Playing. Um, I technically look at this one for like a rules guideline, but I don't really follow it as much. I use it as a basis for me to help usually remember which ones I haven't done yet. But other than that, I really don't use it. I just kind of look at the princess I'm doing, think about how the movie went, and try and follow it as closely as I'm able to recreate in The Sims. So I, I change things and expand on things, but... Aquata gaining that mermaid skill over there. Look at you. I love seeing the older girls going and swimming around. I worry though, can some of my older girls come outside? Here's the bad part. Once my mermaids get up in the house, they don't know how to get back down. Which is the part I don't like about this house is like, once my mermaids are up here, they don't know how to get out of the house. Like they're all gathering over here and I don't know why they don't know how to do this. I think it's because of the mermaid mod I have, they don't know how to like, they say they don't know how to use ladders, but they just used a ladder here. So I don't understand why it's a problem. Oh my gosh, I just noticed the freaking gnomes over here. Okay, just completely ignore me when I tell you to do things. Got it. Because I want to see more of the mermaids going out and swimming, and, like, none of them do. 
which is very annoying to me. Like, I'm trying to help them out here. Yeah, I think they get down to this level. And then I think they don't know what else to do. Like, is it is it the pillar? Is the pillar in the way? Let me try now. Like, why won't you go down the st I know they're not really fun looking stairs, but I don't know why they wouldn't just go down them. Can you swan dive off here? Because my other mermaids are stuck. They don't know how to get down. No, like she's too afraid to do that. Can you go here? Let me try that. Can you go there? I need to figure out what part they don't like. Okay, so she can go down this far. Can you go here? Is it this other pillar? Now can you go here? <gasps> it might have been that other pillar. I think that may have been my problem there. Okay. Now if I tell all of my mermaids to come outside, can they figure it out? Was that the issue now? They couldn't use those stairs earlier because of the two pillars? <gasps> Are they going to do it? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No? Try to go down here. <gasps> okay. Okay. Swim here, my bud. Yay, my mermaids are back out! Whoa, whoa! What the heck? <gasps> what the heck? Can anyone explain? Is it happening to my others? No. Why is it happening to that one? What is happening to her? What is happening to her? Why is this happening? Why is this doing this to her? She's not her father. What? You are not your dad! You're not your dad! <laughs> oh, I hate that. <laughs> She's transitioning? No! Why is she doing this? What is wrong with you? Do you even know who you are? I've never had this glitch, and it's honestly terrifying. Like, are we good? Okay, is it just your mermaid form? You're never turning into a mermaid again. I'm sorry to tell you this. Okay, sweet. Ariel is level five mermaid, which means it is finally time for her to age up to a teen. Um, some, oh, hold on. Was there anything else I had to do as a kid for Ariel? Look at, let me look at my roles here. Must have the loves outdoor. We got that. Was swimming. We did that. Skip school to go on adventures. She did snorkeling all the time. She played human a lot with her dollhouse and other dollhouse. She collected some shells and other items. So there we go. Yeah, she's good to go. Team. How's your brother? How you doing over here, buddy? Could you please? All right, so Ariel... We'll give her the, should I give her the child of the ocean? I'm going to give her the romantic trait because I think she's just, you know, well, yeah, she just, she's, you know, she's infatuating. She wants to find her one true love, her soulmate. All right. I need you also, Sim Commands to age team. I'm sorry, Ariel. I said you were a mermaid, not a fairy. What are you doing? Child of the islands. With a successful lineage request. Ariel, I love how you kept the long hair theme. 
It's not quite the hairstyle I need from you, but like, I kind of love it for you. <gasps> oh my gosh, no, he aged. <gasps> no, 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 no. He aged up to a mermaid as a teen. So is he going to be able to, hold on, let me save. Is he going to be able to, to become a mermaid? Because, you know, I always have that humans, like, the, my mermaids always freaking forget that they're mermaids and take their tails off. She was a fairy. No, she, you love me both. The shark teeth. Why? Shark bait. Hoo-ah. Thank you. I do kind of like this hair, hair, hair on him. Bruh, he's so attractive. His eyes. His eyes especially. Okay, what hair screams mermaid? I feel like mermaids would do their hair in styles like this all the time. Because, like, their hair, I feel like, would get so dried out from the chlorine and stuff. That hairstyles like this, I feel like, would totally save them and help them out. But, I don't know. Maybe he would also look good with, a, like, a long curly texture. Kind of like how his dad has nice long hair. I don't know, he's a merman. What would he have? Maybe a braid. Oh, this hair would look cute on him too, though. Man, this is not the main character. You do not have to focus on him. <laughs> oh, let's do this. I like this. I choose this. I choose you, Pikachu. All right, I'm gonna try and keep this real easy, once again. X, let's do Island Living. That'll help me just kind of blow through this real quick. Cause whatever I pick for him now is gonna be the outfit he pretty much wears all the time, so. Content, no, sorry, Pax, Solani. So like I said, I feel like he's like the goody two-shoes of him and uh, Ariel. Like he very much, li okay, I'm gonna cheat his hair back later. He very much listens to Trident and everything Trident tries to tell him. He like learns the best from his dad. And I feel like he just like, kind of tries to honor whatever Trident is trying to tell him. So I think he, he really tries to embody his culture more than Ariel did. Throwing in a lot of oranges to his palette as well, just to give a a callback to Ariel. Not Ariel, sorry, Merida. Oh, for the love of Pete. Oh, his little hat. Wait, he's a teen, right? Yeah, he's a teen. I need to clarify before I say something. Yeah, Bells, he's a teen. You need to remember yourself here for a second. I said he was a cutie. I said nothing else. Mermaid attire. Let's do something like that. I feel like he would wear this as well. Pretty much, he pretty much wears that all the time. <laughs> I don't know how else to dress mermaids. Like, I just put them in this stuff. This is the best I can do. And last fit. I don't know, he's a mermaid. I don't think he gets cold. All right, and I will cheat his hair to go on all his outfits, but here he is. There he is. Isn't he lovely? He is so handsome. Oh, wait, his tail. Duh, I gotta get his tail. Oh, buddy. Okay, first off, I'm gonna have to pull his hair onto his mermaid form. That way I can make sure it transfers. Oh, oh. Oh, but this hair. Oh, but that hair. 
I take it back. I take it back. And this hair, oh, I don't know. Which hair do I prefer, guys? Do I prefer the long down or the long pulled back? I kind of like the pulled back. It reminds me of Merida's hair also, like with the curls and stuff like that. Like it's an homage to his mommy, but I do like this one as well, but I really prefer this one on him. I don't know. We can't do both. I ain't doing both. Long pulled back, long down, long down. Oh, wait, no, sorry. You're, well, you're one person just spamming. Hold on. <laughs> Use both. I'm not using both. All right, I think oh, I'm getting such different results. I'm going with the ponytail. I don't care what anybody else says. <laughs> I'm doing the ponytail. It's too cute. It's too cute. All right. As much as I want to give him one of my beautiful fantasy mermaid tails, the entire of Ariel's family has like tails like these or Trident has a tail like this. So I think for him, I'm gonna give him the tail that his dad has. But what's his color? This is Trident's tail. And this is Ariel's tail. Do I make, <gasps> do I make him orange? Do we have another orange one? I don't think we do. I have a yellow for Adela, but I don't know if we have orange. We could give him black, but that's too evil looking. I kinda wanna do orange. He's definitely a happy accident. <laughs> I'm gonna give him the orange. I think that looks good on him. Okay, Ariel, honey, you are a ha hot mess right now. Very much a hot mess. Oh, lordy. Okay, I'm gonna go through all of her stuff real quick. Yep. And take off whatever I don't need real quick. These brows ain't doing it for me. So let's do, okay, there we go. Let's do these actually. Um, And her aerial hair. Now, I recently just got a new aerial hairstyle. I've had quite a couple different ones. So I had, the one that I've always traditionally used was this one. This is the one that we've been using in her toddler and child age. But recently I just got a new one. And it is this one. And I would like to use it. I know the bangs are quite extreme, extreme, but that's, you know, Ariel. Ariel has quite extreme bangs. So I'm thinking I'm gonna try this hair out and see how we vibe with it. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna give her whatever I think I need for her makeup right now. I feel like some nice sun-kissed cheeks would look really cute on her. It's gotta be the right level of sun-kissed. And then we all know Ariel's got that red, red lipstick. So let's do... go all right she needs eyelash or she needs some lashes that's really holding her back right now there we go there oh she's so freaking cute 
I just found you, is this a Disney Princess Challenge? Yes, it is. All right. Okay, so how, here's how, how do I dress Ariel right now? Because she is technically just a mermaid. Right now. So, like she has, she doesn't have any of her human apparel yet. So I don't want her to wear the human clothes that she gets later in the movie. Like I would normally dress her in, like her blue dress and stuff like that. I feel like she shouldn't get any of them. So I feel like I should just be putting her in some like native Solani kind of looking outfits. Like I'm going to give her like something like this and this. Or should I give her the actual seashell bra? I do have it. I guess I'll do this one, yeah. It just feels so inappropriate. <laughs> I hate that one part of it. Like, I don't know why. I think I would prefer to give her something like this. But she's a mermaid. Do it for her mermaid only. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Just keep me a little on the safer side. Yeah, I would prefer that, I think, right now. But I want, like, a light purple. Do I not have a light purple? I don't have a light purple? Ugh. All right, whatever. Okay, so I think for now we will do something like this for Ariel. Mm -hmm. Of course. Okay, I'm gonna go back and change her hair stuff later. Um. All right, hear me out. I'm thinking formal Ariel, but as a mermaid, should be. Where is it at? Come on. I know I've got it. It's down here somewhere. Ah. Tattered up. Tattered up rags, Ariel. <laughs> I feel like for her formal and her party wear, we should do the tattered rags. Because I feel like she would try and do, like, a human outfit, but, like, you know, completely fail at it. And find... She finds human materials, and she thinks that that's kind of good enough. So we will do the tattered up outfit for those all right for her swimwear of course we gotta do that one and what's like a different one i think just for that here we go something to this aesthetic really would prefer not to get yeah. I died like a high-waisted or at least something like this we'll do that one Ooh. Uh, her cold weather tattered rags same as the other <laughs> Does it make sense? Oh, that's missing. Okay, that's nice. Does it make sense? No. Do I care? No. Ah. It's Solani. The beach doesn't get cold. Hot weather. Hmm. Okay, I need to turn. Well, let me just look at the skirts. Um, uh, packs. I need Solani stuff back. There we go. There's that. Swimmer is good. That's good. Okay, sleepwear. 
Um. I don't know what mermaids would pick to wear to bed. No. Well, no. why is everything so sexual for mermaids? <laughs> it makes me uncomfy. <laughs> oh my gosh. What's a mermaid wear to bed? Oh, this. Right? I mean, I mean, why not? Sure. Good enough for me. Athletic <laughs> man back to all this. All right, there. We've got our aerial. Don't worry. We're good. are technically underwear but I kind of like the uh oh yeah I, it looks like kelp <laughs> I'm doing it like this okay so I need to put her one hair back on for her mermaid just to make sure it transfers over for later so let's put this back on her and also, when I put her hair up in that blue um, bow she wears, I do have this version as well that makes it look pulled back. So don't worry about that. Alright, let's get her tail. Now, Ariel's tail. Do I do this one? Which technically matches. I'm gonna give you guys three options. Let's do a poll for which one we're gonna do her tail as. So I want to keep it as close to Ariel's movie tail as possible, which means I'm probably not going to do my big fancy tails because I want to be co closer in accuracy, maybe. But I will give you guys a tail, some tail options because we're going to see Ariel in this tail quite a lot. So let's go. This is the movie OG for option number one, movie OG. Option number two. I'm looking at... A little less movie accurate, but still the same. Cool. Um, let's do, well, this will be option number two. We'll do, this is what I normally give her. This is the tail I normally give her when I do Ariel. But I do have her movie accurate one now, so I feel like I gotta throw it in. Um, option number two, what do I call this one? Simple green. All right, simple green. Option three, let's throw in a fun one. Let's do this. Let's do, the only thing I don't like about it is it has those two other fins. I would pick this tail for Ariel if it didn't have those two extra fins. So we'll call this CC tail thigh fin. Cause she's got the fins up on her thighs. Option number four, do I want another option? For funsies, why not? Oh, actually, I hate that one. No. I don't think I gave you a fourth option. Because all the other tails just wouldn't... They just don't. I hate this tail. I've been meaning to delete this one. It's so shiny. I hate it. <laughs> um, yeah, she doesn't need a tree. This one is cute, but I don't know if it's got... It does technically have, oh crap. All right, well, I guess we'll put this one in as option number four. We'll call it CC shredded because it's got, no, no what do I call this one? CC green with green purple. CC green purple. Do I really want to account for any other extra tails? Ugh, none of them are accurate. It's the only thing I hate. I like being closer to accurate. <laughs> All right, we'll go with this, guys. How about this? 
So I'm going to start a 60 second vote. So option number four is the CC purple green. Option number three was the CC thigh fin. Option number two was the simple green. And option number one was movie OG. So option number one, movie OG. Option number two, simple green. Option number three, thigh fin. <laughs> or option number four, really long purple green. Those are your guys' options. Polls, by the way, for those of you that are watching on TikTok, I do all my polls on Twitch. So if you would like to have more of a say on um, what you know, you'd like to see in the future, I do all my polls over on Twitch. So if you were commenting on TikTok, sadly your stuff's not being counted. I only do Twitches. Because if I put a poll up on Twitch and TikTok, they I would just get different results all the time. It just wouldn't work out. So since Twitch is my main platform, I do all that fun stuff over there. And the girl, thank you so much for that 10 month resub. Thank you, sweetheart. All right, votes are in. And you guys have chosen Movie OG. So, Movie OG, here we go. And I will not hear any arguments on it. <laughs> We're playing it accurate today. Experiment, but, but. <laughs> oh goodness, Alicia, thank you so much for the follow. Sacrifice for the storyline. We do, we sacrifice for the storyline quite often. Good Lord, Ariel. Okay, so first thing I wanna do real quick is I need to go to dresser. Let me put her main outfit on, copy, paste, copy her makeup, paste it to all her outfits. Copy hair, paste her hair to all outfits. All right, so now she should have her makeup and hair on all of her look. Look at her! She's so cute! We, I think we did a really good job with Ariel. I think we, we really did. I think she looks great. So let me go ahead and have her and her brother go in the water. And let's go ahead and test. And uh, see how we're looking. Just to make sure they both get like their tails back when they go in the water. Oh wait, same for you. I need to uh, add Liz. MC Command Center, dresser, copy paste, copy, copy hair, paste hair to all outfits. There we go. All is, and you're right, I need to save. Saving, saving, saving. <laughs> thank you so much for the reminders, guys. You're special, thank you so much for the follow. Candace, thank you for the follow. All right. Please work accordingly. Please don't forget you're a mermaid. Please put your mermaid tail on when you go in the water. Please put your mermaid tail on when you go in the water, Ariel. Okay, okay, the tail is on now. Yes, okay, thank God. Okay, you know what? When the tail is in action though, it looks really good. Like it doesn't, like I feel like in Create a Sim, it looks a little weird. But seeing the tail actually in action, it's pretty cute. Like, I'm always pretty satisfied with, like, look at it. Look at that. What? Uh, hold on. No, her makeup isn't on her mermaid self. Crap, that's a problem for me. Hold it. Hold the phone. Wait, hold on. Can I? Dresser. Copy. Paste makeup. <gasps> yes, I, I'm a... Genius, okay. Okay, so Ariel has reached mermaid level one. So now that Ariel is a teen and is getting a little bit more into her mermaidy self. Mermaid tail flip. Oh, can I see a tail flip? Can I see a tail flip? Can I see a tail flip? Whoa, whoa, what did I just, no, you got under the land. Oh, she's venturing away. She picked a whole new island to swim on. Oh, that's going to tee off her dad so fast. <laughs> what are you doing? You're getting water from where? 
Beachcomb! Oh my gosh, yes, she should totally do that. Sorry, well, she's beachcombing. So, now that Ariel is a teen, here is what we're gonna be working with her. So, as a teen, she should get the romantic trait. We have to reach level 10 of singing, and she has to learn more about mermaid. Like, she has to do a lot of mermaid skills, because I have the Better Mermaids mod. So, she has to become a pretty decently skilled mermaid. And um, we're going to be picking a couple of the mermaid perks as we go. Um, eventually, I would like her to sing with all of her sisters. I would like to add flounder in somehow. I've been debating if I should make, because I have not made flounder yet, because I'm not sure what I want to do. Do I want to make her best friend flower that she goes on adventure, flou, flou, flounder? As she goes on adventure with, adventures with, do I want to make him a pet? Or do I want to make him like a boy she likes to hang out with? Like, you know what I mean? Like, do I make him a mermaid that she's friends with? Because obviously, can't make him a fish. Sebastian, I'm not as worried about. But do I make flounder a animal? Or do I make... Like a, like a cat or a dog? Or do I make him a cute mermaid boy she hangs with? Draw a heart in the sand. Oh my god, that's so aerial. Pet, a mermaid. He should be cursed frog, but yellow and blue. No! Well, maybe. Aw, oh, see, Ariel is such a romantic sim. She's drawing a freaking heart in, in the sea. Oh, uh, beachcomb for trash. Oh my gosh, I should have her beachcombing for trash every day so she can try and find, like, human objects. Because that would be so funny if she actually was finding a couple different things. <gasps> That's right! She did! She found a little triceratops and a little octopus toy. And now she's got some more seashells. Yes! Oh my gosh, I should have her beach... Like, comb the beach for trash, because that's her human objects that she can be total fans of. I love that. Okay. I'm thinking, I see a lot of people saying that uh, Flounder should be a merman. So, I'm thinking merman, too. I kind of like that a lot, actually. I'm down for a merman, Flounder. Now, Sebastian is the one that I don't know about because I don't know what I should do for, for Sebastian. If I made Sebastian, I'd probably make him a guy also. But I don't know. It would make it easier for Flounder to travel with her if he was a human. That's what I thought too, to be honest. All right. Ariel, you've searched for human things enough. I would like you to go do more mermaid things for me. All right, go fetch a fish, die for kelp. Oh wait, I can't layer these objects or these transactions. I have to only do them one at a time, which sucks. I like how all of her sisters and King Triton and everybody is paying attention to the rules and they're all staying close by the shore. Like they're staying close to Atlantica. They're staying close to Atlantica. Meanwhile, Ariel is all the way out over here. Like, do you see how none of her siblings are out this far? Like, even though there's a pirate ship right over there, Ariel is just cruising around. And I feel like this is why, like, Trident really, really gets angry at her. Okay, so Ariel has... No, Ariel didn't upgrade her freaking skill. I thought she did. But Ariel is a level one mermaid, so... Ariel is a small fish in a big pond. She's at the bottom of the marine food chain as a hatchling mermaid. Using her aquatic powers will allow her to ascend the ladder to become the deity of the sea. Obviously, Trident is like max level and everything mermaid, so don't worry about that. So Ariel has reached the mermaid XP level one. Two more are required to gain a perk. So I have to work on her skills as a mermaid a little bit. I would like her to have level 10 skill in singing, 
before she meets Eric, because obviously we know Eric falls in love with Ariel singing, so she needs to be a good singer. That's very important. But I feel like she should be, you know, submerged in the in the mermaid culture. Like, we need to really spend some time with Ariel as a mermaid to feel like we got the mermaid lifestyle. And that way it feels like a change, like a drastic change, when she goes to having legs and can walk on land. You know what I mean? So I really want to spend some time enjoying Ariel as a mermaid before we meet Eric. That way we get really the two different feels. I feel like that's important for figuring out all about Ariel. <laughs> I think she has so much fun though. Oh no, she just peed in the water! Ariel, oh, she's diving in it now too, you nasty. <laughs> I've never been so invested in The Sims before. Hippie, I'm glad you're having fun! Amanda, thank you so much for uh, sharing the live. That's so sweet of you. And for following. I'm super late, stupid family trips. <gasps> Manners, how dare you? Oh, romantic lesson. Ariel is a romantic. Romantic sins tend to be flirty and a need to infuse their lives with romance often. I think that's so funny that Ariel is romantic at this young because like she's probably been like, oh my gosh, I just want to, no one understands me here at home. I just want to find the love of my life. <laughs> she peed in her bathtub, in her pool, in her bathtub, in her bed. She just peed in everything. Ooh, she's level two of the fitness skill. Ooh. Alana has developed the harp voice weakness. This vocal condition gives mermaids a screech that is enough to incapacitate and turn all siren songs into horrible Alana! How did you get that? Alana has developed. Perks. Sing si shanty. I'm very curious. So weird. Is there anything else she can do? I want to see what, like, what her thing, like, her weakness, how that will really affect her. I'm so curious about that right now. You know what? Good for her. <laughs> All right, Ariel, can I'm sorry, can you keep searching around? And I just need you to gain some more skill. Call over a Zer dolphin. Oh, you should. And you guys are yelling at me to save, so you're right. I do need to save. Thank you for the save reminders, guys. Thank you. Experiment. Thank you, Harley. Save ya. Her daddy won't be happy. <laughs> oh, no. Her sister went siren. Alana! Why, honey? Oh, my goodness. You know what? Since I really don't need to change more of Ariel's traits, I think I can actually invite her other sisters back to the house. Because I don't need to change family appearance because Ariel's already a teen now. So I can invite her siblings back. Yay! <laughs> It'll be nice to have all the, uh, the other girls back again. Hey, Alana, stop stomping around and call over your two other sisters that I need to add back to the family. I hate the angles in this house. Okay, Adela and Adrina are coming over. Sweet. Okay, there's one. Adela is back. And I need Adrina still. Adrina. There we go. All right, the last of Ariel's sisters are back. She has all six of her other sisters. Tried it and his seven daughters and on accident, one son. <laughs> huh. Who is Dandelion? Dandelion is a mermaid in my game. So yes, there is Dandelion. I have made them. They're, she's technically a fairy, but also a mermaid at the same time. <laughs> But I've also made um, the other fairy Topia fairies as well, like Alina, Dandelion, uh, Nori, which will be fun to see if I see other, like, because Ariel can talk to other mermaids, but she cannot talk to humans. 
So it'll be interesting to see if we see any other mermaids kind of swimming around. Should have her go visit the mermaid grotto from time to time. She does need to go on more adventures as a mermaid. So I do want to do more of that. Um, the folk who dwell below the waves are much more than they seem. It takes more than a fishtail and a dingle hopper to be one of the mer people. As a creature of the sea, Ariel has the potential to harness her power, control the water elements and those who live in it. It may even be develop a certain influence over mortal landwalkers. Building her mermaid rank will allow her to expand her abilities beyond her wildest dreams. As a mermaid uses their abilities and embraces their fishy half, they will increase their XP, which allows for perks to be gained. So we can get some perks in the future as well. All right, let's have her go head back here. But I want Trident to meet her out. Uh, you tell me why you can't. Holy, what the heck happened in here? Can, can we talk about why there are so many dishes here? Oh, this house is not meant for this many sims to legitimately live in. Oh, I know my problem. I have freaking motive decay on low. Oh my gosh, that's the problem. Oh my Jesus. Normally I have motive decay on like the freaking way slow. And I got it on fast right now. <laughs> Hold on. Cause I had to for stupid the Hunger Games. Gameplay. Motive decay. Sim motive decay. Oh my god. Normally I put it on 50. I'm putting it on 40 now. Sim mode of decay and vampire mode of decay. Not that I care, but let me turn those back to something a lot lower than that. Okay. There. Hopefully my sims all don't like hate their lives again. <laughs> no wonder. No wonder all their needs were going down so fast. I'm surprised none of them died on accident. Tried it. Get your keister down here, your daughter. Look at how far she's swimming out of seas. You need to hurry up and get, get, try it and hurry up. You need to be there to argue with her. Thank you. <gasps> like Ariel, where have you been? So uh, he's tense. See, he's already angry. Argue. Yell at. Why were you so far out into the sea, Ariel? Should he already be going gray from stress though? Should Trayvon's hair start to be turning gray? Argue. Argue about house rules. Perfect. Yeah, I think he needs to start going gray. Because now that he's starting to argue with her, I want him to go gray again. <laughs> yes, he was already gray when she was 16. Yeah. When she was a little kid. When she was a little kid in uh, the third the third little mermaid um she did uh he did have his like orangey hair but yeah when he was when she's a teen he already has gray hair so he got real stressed after after his wives died so we'll just go with that he got real stressed after these wives passed away There we go, Trident. I feel like you should also get a couple wrinkles. I mean, not that many, maybe. How do we smooth those out of it? Yeah, there you go, buddy. He does have a lot of girls. <laughs> those shells don't look too promising. Uh, they scare me, okay? I know they can't physically fall off my sim, but they still terrify me. Why is my background orange or blue again? Why does it always do that? Like I thought I fixed the problem. Focus on me. 
What are you looking at? Why am I so pale? I hate how it does that. I thought I had a good, good thing going earlier. Tearful, yeah, sure. Uh, no. There. He is much more stressed looking. Hey, hey! Oh, that's right, you're, you got traits. And saving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so pale. <laughs> Miku, yeah, Nifel, Sahibsa, ugh, can I moobs na? Nisoda, ah, moochie. Like how Ariel is like trying to tell him. Like, no, Dad, it's fine. Everything I'm doing is fine. And he's like, I don't want to see you go over there again, Ariel. I will not tell you again. And then why don't you go somewhere around Trident? All right, now Ariel, you need to go back and practice your singing. I feel like if there's anything that Trident is proud of, it's her singing. Though even though we're a level five singer, she still sings like the worst singer ever. Like how? How does even if a sim is a level five singer, do they still sing like this? Those milkshakes are thick. I'm dying. <laughs> No! La, 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 I found you! Oh no, if you don't, sorry. Why did I say that I found you? I mean, that kind of looks like that. Uh, <laughs> la, 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 if you don't like me, la, 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 thank you so much for that follow. La, 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 la. Level six is when the good voice hits. I hope so. So I was hoping by the time we would we would get into this. Oh no, Trident's going through a midlife crisis. Trident is at the breaking point in life. Oh no, Trident. I mean, your life has been super difficult, buddy. If we're being honest, he's had a really hard time. What are you doing? No, we don't talk to humans. What's a Tina? What's the oldest daughter up to? Freaking trash. Why? All right. If I ever have to play in this house again, I'm making sure in the future it's more livable. Because good Lord, it was, I don't know how often it was play tested. <laughs> but there's like so many problems. <laughs> like why, why I don't understand why there's so many issues. Wow, what gen are we on now? Oh gosh, what uh, what number is this? Snow White, oh, I just scratched my chin. Snow White, Cinderella, Tiana, Sleeping Beauty, Anna, Elsa, they count, right? There were technically one gen, but I did do two princesses. Anna, Elsa, Rapunzel, Belle, Merida, Ariel. We're on technically generation nine, Feels more like 10 because we did both Anna and Elsa, but they were sisters, so they share a gen. So we are on technically gen 9, but I did do a story for both. Well, now she's singing much better. I still hate listening to it somehow, though. <laughs> Yep, don't worry, we're gonna be getting to Mulan. Um, after Ariel, we have Moana, Jasmine, Mulan. Who am I forgetting now? Mulan, Jasmine, Moana. Am I forgetting somebody? I've gotta be. 
I gotta be forgetting a princess. No, I'm not. It's Valbana, Jasmine, and Mulan after this. Technically, I think I'm gonna add in just a little, a little taste of melody. Um, I think I'm gonna add in a little bit of melody. Cause she is technically. Pocahontas I don't do out of respect for Native American culture. I'm skipping over her. Um, because the whole thing with the, the Native community and uh, the Pocahontas movie, they really don't appreciate the representation that Disney gave for her. Um, they really sugarcoated her story when her story was much more tragic. So out of respect for the Native American community, I, uh, I skip over Pocahontas and all my Disney princess stuff now. The build is not mine. I believe it. I want to say it's Tomlin YouTube or Tomlin YT. But I'm not 100% sure. I don't remember. But it's, it looks like a big old sandcastle. It's Atlantica. And while it is a gorgeous, gorgeous, awesome build, it is hell to play it. <laughs> Anastasia. I've thought about it. I have thought about if I should add Anastasia in. And um, so Melody and Anastasia, I thought about them a lot, actually. I thought about if I should add them. I mean, Kida, but she would be so hard to do. <laughs> All right. I'd like Ariel to get to level seven. Look at all the girls outside listening to their sister. Oh, a seashell. Please pause. I found a seashell. Go get it. You can practice singing here in a second again. There. I just had to get the seashell I saw on the ground. All right, we're still kind of bad at singing right now. Look at all the sisters, though. I love seeing them all. Like, they're so cute to see all around each other. This trident's like family tree. It does say they're all his daughter, right? Yeah. Okay, good. He does see all his kids. There is a, a break in here, but... We have a lot of d dead mothers in this challenge, which I shouldn't be surprised because it's a Disney challenge. <laughs> so I guess that's not shocking, is it? But. Mm. <gasps> oh, Vanellope? Vanellope Von Schweetz, she is technically a Disney princess. I feel like if we did Vanellope, she would definitely be Mulan's daughter. You know, the black hair, the, the light skin. I feel like we, nope, we gotta skip prom. We can't go to human functions. Can't talk to humans, can't go human functions. But I think Vanellope would be, I would add her after Mulan, I think. Because I feel like the, the looks are somewhat similar enough that it would kind of make sense. But it would be funny. I would, it would be really funny to do that. We've already done Merida. Merida was Ariel's mom. So we just finished and killed Merida. All right, just get to level six, Ariel. That's all I kind of need from you. Oh, it was seven. Did I say six or seven? Seven, I meant. Coming forward to carry me home. God bless you. All right, Ariel. Snorkel. <laughs> Mermaids would never be caught snorkeling. A very taboo subject. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I guess go swim around because still you need to work on your mermaid skills. Did you do Jasmine? No, not yet. Jasmine will be Moana. So Ariel in my challenge is going to be giving birth to both Melody and Moana. Because I still want to do Melody because she is technically a Disney princess. Um, so Ariel is going to be giving birth to both Ariel and Moana. Sorry, sorry. Moana and Melody. 
Um, and then Moana will give birth to Jasmine. So I still have to do Melody, Moana, um, Jasmine, Mulan, maybe Vanellope Von Schweetz, unless I just want to be done after Mulan. Um, I could add in more princesses in the future, but to think about. I saw Sifix made an Odette dress, so yes, I do already have the Odette dress, and I have the Odette hair. Um, I just haven't made Odette in my game, which I should. I just recently watched the movie, but I don't think I finished it. So I should I should watch uh, Odette again, the Swan Princess. All right, how's our mermaid seals coming? She's almost halfway to some mermaid XP. Her mermaid rank is still pretty pretty low. Um, how do I get these up? Ooh, can I see a tail flip? Ariel, please give me a tail flip. Tail flip. <laughs> oh, look at this! Oh my God, wait, I gotta do some screenshots. What have I been doing? Hold on, please pause. Not doing your job. I've been, I've been trying. Come on, give me like a not crazy face. Thank you. Oh yes, this is perfect. Perfect. Okay. Can I get another tail flip? Can I get another? Can I try again? <laughs> uh, tail flip. Oh, tail flip, then sing a sea shanty. Okay. I gotta be quick about this. I gotta catch her like just coming out of the water. I already failed it. Oh wait, nope. She's just moving. <gasps> She's just moving. Don't go on to the beach. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. What? No. <laughs> All right. Come into the water, please. I need to try again. Please tail flip so I can try and get a good screenshot for a thumbnail. Okay, yes, but your arms are kind of broken. Can I get... Oh, okay. This could have some potential. Your arms are kind of in the way, but I mean, it, it, it does something. And we're about where we were the last time. This isn't really helping me. Oh, this is different. <laughs> oh, this is wildly different. I don't like this. I don't like this view. No, thank you. <laughs> All right, thank you, Ariel, for that. Is there anything else you can do as a mermaid that would give me a good screenshot? Let's sing a she, a she shanty. Ooh! Do you hear that song coming out already? Megara from Hercules. I've made Megara. I do have a Megara made. Let me look at her sea shanty. Oh, this would be a good. Si oh, this would be a good screenshot for like the episode where we meet Eric, and she freaking sings to him and, 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 and it makes him fall in love with her. Sorry. Yes. Okay. Yeah, or when Ursula's taking her voice. You know what I mean? We'll we'll listen to this again. As soon as I get, like, good screenshots. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Perfect. Fucking save, Josie! I'm saving! What is this water fountain over here that they keep wanting to go to? All right, reset. Oh, gosh, where'd you go? Oh, dang it. I was hoping I could stop you. 
Like, is the, it says they're always going to go get water from over here. Like, she goes over here for something. And there's nothing over here. All right, can you please go back over here? I need you to keep doing mermaid things. We're trying to improve your skills. <laughs> mermaid, tail flip, sing, see, she, and tea. And I will actually listen to the whole thing this time. And not take a screenshot through it. Come little children vibes, but with sailors. Oh god. I mean, that's kind of it. I mean, it's kind of the vibe. All right, here we go. Now let's listen to her beautiful sea shanty. <laughs> Why did they make me laugh so much? Can I hear another? Stop going over there. There's nothing over there. Like why? And every time she gets up there, she doesn't know what she's doing. Okay, here we go. Right, where are you getting this drink? Like where is this beverage you want coming from? Is it in the house? Uh, of course it's in the house. There's nothing that you know about. <laughs> Patricia, thank you so much for the follow. Not the high pitched squeak. <laughs> it sounds like someone slammed on their car horn. <laughs> Look at the mermaid siblings meeting up in the middle all in their swimsuits because they just got done swimming she is so pretty <laughs> i love this i love his nose i love his no there's something so attractive about his nose i don't care if nobody else agrees with me i love his profile i love his side the side profile it's so attractive. I just, I love his nose. I love his nose. Oh my God. And the fruity taste it shows. Does Trident have that nose? Is, is that where he got it? Trident, wait, are you swimming under the house? Okay. Trident, I need to see your nose. Pull your head above the water for a second. I think he did get it from his dad. Yeah, he did. Oh, that nose. Such a handsome nose. A beautiful, yes, a Roman nose, yes. Ariel has a brother. He was kind of a mistake. <laughs> I thought I when I cheated Merida's pregnancy that I put for one little girl, but apparently I accidentally made it one girl and one boy. So, um, yeah, Ariel now has a brother. He was an accident. His name is Atlas, but we love him. He went with the A theme, just like the rest of their siblings. Uh, Atina, Alana, Arista, Ad Aquata, Adela, Adrina, and Ariel. And now Atlas. And Ariel's mother's name was Athena. All right, Ariel. I don't know if doing some of these different things gives you skills. <laughs> Hold the phone. Hold the phone. I think I saw this. Teased. Please pause. Mermaid. Lounge on stomach. The perfect thumbnail does exist. The, oh, oh, sweet Jesus. <gasps> oh my God. By the way, for those of you that are wondering how I'm doing any of this with Sims mermaids, also it is a crime that the Sims just doesn't let you do this by itself 
Oh my gosh. So I have the Better Mermaids mod installed, which is what's allowing me to, in her mermaid form, just lay on the ground. Like, this is beautiful. Why doesn't the Sim just let actual mermaids do this? This is so cool. She's just lounging. Is this getting her, this is improving her mermaid skill. Just her flapping around. I love it. Ariel is a paid actor. I love this. Tori Grace, thank you so much for the follow, by the way. So yeah, the shell skill is like her mermaid skill, which I'm trying to build up before we like have her meet Eric and stuff like that. I'm trying to get her mermaid XP, her mermaid rank up. Uh, that way we can do different things. Okay, Ariel, before you go anywhere, please hold. Like I can have her sing some sea shanties and such like that. Um, let me have her mermaid lounge on back next. Have you considered doing the new Disney movie Wish? Oh, oh, so the movie Wish just came on to Disney Plus, and so I did want to watch it this weekend. So I do plan on watching it. I like her yeah, laying on her belly more. It's it's more traditional mermaid, but I do like this. Um, I do plan on watching the movie Wish. Of course, I'm going into it knowing that it's probably not going to be the best thing ever. But, you know, I always seem to have a way of liking Disney movies no matter what. So I'm going to watch Wish this weekend. And if I like it, yeah. I There's probably not going to be a lot of Sims CC on her yet. Let me Sims for Wish CC. Oh, there's apparently somebody's made stuff. Somebody has already made a couple Sims from the Wish movie. So that's good. So I just looked Google Sims for Wish CC and it looks like there's some low quality stuff of, uh, of the princess. So yes, if I do Asha, I, if I think that's how you say her name, um, I'm definitely, Ooh, what is this? <sighs> Please hold. Is there a download link? Oh, I'm gonna have to find where this is. Sorry, excuse me. But yeah, I'll have to go grab uh this uh this CC that somebody made for the movie. Um, cause yeah, I could add her. I totally forgot. But somebody remind me to do that later. <laughs> But yeah, if Asha is a good, uh, good princess that I would feel like would be, if I feel like I could do a fun thing for her, I would definitely, I'll definitely do it. Lounge on back, see change. Is there anything else I could do? Call thunderstorm, hide mermaid form, lounge on back, perks. I don't have high enough XP for perks yet. All right. I'm going to have her lay on her stomach one more time because it helps get up her mermaidness up a little bit more. The CC black hole always. Oh my gosh. Uh, yes, I do have the Better Mermaid mod as well. That's what I'm using. Um, by Spinning Plum Bobs, it's the Better Mermaids mod. It was just updated in March, so that's really nice. So I have been doing that. Oh, is she going for shells or is she going for trash? I do need to have her dig for trash um, because <laughs> that's how she's been getting our little mermaid collectibles. She's got a couple different fish in her inventory, a couple different shells. She also has the finger of Solani. She has this little Triceratops, uh, toy. Oh, she's, and she has a little, uh, tentacle op octopus toy. So I'm going to have her comb the beach for some trash. And now she just got a little rubber ducky. I feel like a lot of the trash that she's been finding is kids play toys, but I like that a lot. Sorry, I feel like that was a bad angle. Okay, okay, apparently I can't escape the bad angles, but. <laughs> I was going to do it again. Um, I made Ariel. I got a lot of different CC for her. Um, if you want Mermaids in The Sims 4, you do have to have the Island Living Expansion Pack. Um, and if you want better mermaids, you do need to have Island Living. So if you want mermaids in your game, you need The Sims 4 Island Living Expansion Pack. And if you want the mod for Better Mermaids, it is called Sims 4 Better Mermaids mod uh, by Spinning Plum Bobs.
Ooh, she found it. Oh, she found some plates of food. Perfect. I wanted her to have weird objects like plates and stuff because she likes forks and stuff. Um, you know, her dingle hopper and whatnot. So I wanted her to have some really weird niche objects as well that she finds. Ooh, she's got a kava bowl now. There we go, Ariel. All right. Let's have her practice her singing again. That way, um, let's see. We've got about 20 more minutes of stream left. I want her to be, her singing to be level 10 by the end of this stream. That way, or at least be at like level nine or something like that. Um, that way when we come back, she can finish her level singing probably tomorrow, or not tomorrow, on Monday when I come back and do the streaming. And then when I come back on Monday, um, we'll continue on with Ariel, but we'll get more into her finally rebelling, um, kind of going out more and meeting Eric and meeting Ursula and stuff like that. So we're going to get into Ariel and probably her human identity next playthrough. So if you've been having fun with this, please make sure you follow and I'll be back alive again on Monday. I still have 20 more minutes of this live, so don't worry. I'm not leaving right now. I'm just letting you guys know. So next time when we come back, that's what we're going to be getting into. We're going to get into her becoming, uh, so her rebelling and getting fighting more with her dad, finding Eric, and uh, seeing Ursula. So that's what we're getting into next time. See you, for the follow. Scooter, Lauren, Nia, thank you guys so much for the follow. Did I miss the whole live? Kali, I usually start at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I usually stream Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, starting at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I usually stream for about three hours. Um, sometimes four if I'm feeling frisky, but tonight I want to get to going. Oh my gosh. You should make a crazy old guy and call him Scuttle. Oh my gosh. Okay, I gotta make fla I gotta make a cute flounder. I gotta make Sebastian and I gotta make Scuttle. Flounder. I'm making a note right here so I can turn my Sebastian Scuttle. I do need to make some of those guys. Daisy Hearts, thank you guys all so much for the follows. I appreciate that. My Twitch didn't notify me. Sometimes I feel like those notifications are hit and miss. So I usually just remember that those three days is usually the days I stream and at the time. I love how Trident is always so proud of her singing though. He like, okay, even though he looks really ticked off, I feel like he does love listening to Ariel sing. I feel like that's the only thing that's making him, you know, still like really like Ariel a lot. <gasps> There's a human at the house! Get out of here, what's your name? Marine, Maureen, Marin, Marin Wolf. You get out of here, that was close. That was a close one, there was an alien. alien. There was a human at the house and I didn't even notice. The twin brother could be flounder so we could see some more of him. I mean, I can't rename him now. I can't change his whole appearance. He's just the brother that's gonna inherit the probably the kingdom from Triton or some crap like that. I don't know. Jess, thank you so much for the follow. Kelby, thank you. Lids, thank you. Or Liz, Liz, Lee, Lee back? Back, thank you. Hearts, thank you so much for that follow as well. I appreciate that guys, thank you. <laughs> Cat, thank you. For those of you also that are watching me on TikTok right now, I'm also live on Twitch. So if you'd like to see the entire screen, because you couldn't even see the three of these guys on like watching from the side, but those of you that are watching on Twitch could see the entire thing. So if you would like to be able to see the entire screen in the best quality possible, and like I have the color turned up on Twitch, so it's more vibrant and exciting and beautiful over on Twitch. Highly recommend you guys heading on over there. It's much better, I promise. Twitch is my main platform, so I do all my polls and I ask my Twitch chat mainly things. And Twitch chat allows me to see at least 10 to 15 lines of chat at a time while TikTok only allows me to see three. So if you want me to see more, uh, like, you know, if you want to me to be more interactive with you, you have a better chance of me seeing your comment over on Twitch instead. Um, 
just so you guys know. Okay. I want to keep the background pretty while we hurry up and get her singing all good. Um, I need to say, so yes, please come over to Twitch. My Twitch name is Hayish Manny, same as TikTok. I also have a YouTube, so follow me on YouTube if you want to see all of my previous episodes of my Disney Princess Challenge, because I've done Snow White, Cinderella, Tiana, Sleeping Beauty, uh, Anna Elsa, Rapunzel, Belle, Merida, and now I'm on Ariel. So, and I still have Jasmine, Moana, Mulan, and maybe Princess Vanellope, and Melody as well. I still have those ones to go to, so. We're nearing the end of my Disney Princess Challenge, but we're not done yet. We still have a couple more generations. Nicole, thank you so much for that follow. Shell, thank you so much for that seven month resub. Yemen, thank you so much for that follow. Jordy, thank you so much for the follow on Twitch. S Bear, thank you for the follow on Twitch. Drage, thank you for the bits. Sick Goth, thank you so much for the Twitch follow. Uh, Death D. DFD, thank you so much for the follow. Laura, thank you so much for that five month resub. One more month till our two years. Happy month. Aw, thank you, Lauren. <laughs> Sam, thank you so much for that follow. Emmy girl, thank you for all those bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Just joins What's the Disney Princess Challenge. It's where every single generation is a new Disney princess. I started with Snow White, then Cinderella, then Tiana, then Er then uh, Sleeping Beauty, then Anna Elsa, Rapunzel, Belle, Ariel, Merida. I've done all of those so far. All right, Ariel, what singing skill are you at? Eh, come on, get off of seven. Stop taking selfies! <laughs> are they all their mothers? Yes. So every Disney princess gives birth to a new Disney princess generation. Um... For example, I could. So Ariel's mom was Merida. Merida's mom was Belle, who looks more like the movie mom right now. Belle's mom was Rapunzel. Rapunzel's mom was Elsa. Elsa, Anna. And apparently their brother's is Tarzan as well. So <laughs> Anna and Elsa's mom was Cinderella, or Sleeping Beauty, and then Tiana, and then Cinderella, and Snow White. I wish. We could see, wait, I guess we can't see every last generation. So it starts off with Snow White, all of her children. Snow White had a lot of kids. She had the seven dwarfs. Um, Cinderella was originally dopey because we wouldn't, we couldn't tell which kid we wanted to continue on as Cinderella at first. We had uh, dopey, uh, bashful, and happy that we had to choose from for the girls. And we decided that dopey was going to be our Cinderella and so on and forth. So, so forth. I do love looking at the family tree and seeing all the generations. All of the uh, the mom or the uh, main generations, they usually die. Um, like Belle is gonna go probably, Belle will probably pass on after Ariel gives birth to her daughter in the future. So Ariel hasn't is not with a man pregnant or anything or married like that. So Belle has still a little bit of a while. I have to change her to an elder here soon, actually. Foster check, stretch, hi there. Do we know if any of the siblings had babies or got married? I don't think any of the seven dwarves did. I know obviously Anastasia and Drizella, they have their whole brood of children. But yeah. Do they marry their princess? For the most part, yes. But um, sometimes creative liberties are taken on the family lineage. But for the most part, yeah, they kind of marry their princess. Like Cinderella's prince was a little different. We could have had Prince Charming, but I let you guys pick the prince instead. Um, so the parent, the parents are the main thing that gets messed up usually. But I had Merida marry Trident, so Trident would be the main parent in Ariel's story. So it kind of worked out because Merida doesn't have a boo, like an obvious boo. All right, so she's finally level eight. I would like to get her to level nine before the stream ends here in like 15 minutes. So I'm going to try and fast forward and try and get her to do that. All hail Prince Christian. <laughs> Cal, thank you so much for that follow, sweetheart. Do you play with mods? I'm new here. Yeah, yeah. Mod, CC, it's all over the place. <laughs> but I do have every single expansion pack, game pack, stuff pack, and a couple kits. 
What's my EA account name? Hayish Mandy. I am Hayish Mandy across pretty much all platforms except my Pinterest. My Pinterest, where I save a lot of my Disney CC and like other CC I use in my game, um, is Hayish Mandy OG. So the original Hayish Mandy was taken, but uh, probably by myself, like in my younger years, if we're being honest. But my Pinterest that I use for my uh, business, well. I don't get anything from you guys going to my Pinterest. It's just a place that I like to put everything. That way you guys can find it easier. So if you want to check out my Pinterest and find out where I get all my CC and stuff, especially my Disney stuff, I have a board for just Disney CC on my Pinterest, which is Hey OG. For my TikTok people, there are links in the TikTok bio. For my Twitch people, there are links in my About section. So if you ever need those, they're also there. But my mods are also pretty good at posting the links in uh, my chat as well. Miss Ariel's gonna get her voice stolen. I know, we're doing all this work and she's probably not even gonna be able to sing. Now, there is, in um in the Better Mermaids mod, there is the ability for Sims to write up contracts, for there to be a sea witch that can write up contracts. But I tried to mess with it earlier and I can't get Ursula to make a contract. So I don't know how to do it yet. I'm trying to figure that out before next stream. But if anybody has the Better Mermaids mod and knows why I can't get Ursula to make a contract, please let me know. Because I'm trying to figure that out before next stream. So that way Ariel can go meet with Ursula and make an actual contract where she gets her voice taken away, where she gets her mermaid powers taken away. Because I know all that's possible with this mod, but I can't get it to pop up on the cauldron. Like you're supposed to click the cauldron and it pops up but i can't get it to pop up like i get other options like making potions and stuff like that but i cannot get the other one. Oh, some of my sisters are developing weaknesses and such come with me to the sea a world pure of inhibition the moon sings only to arista look at that beautiful moon arista has developed the moon spell weakness under the light of the moon she will be susceptible to an ent er, entrapment that can have unpredictable and potentially dangerous effects on her power. Um, oh my god, she's moonstruck right now! <gasps> Look at her eyes! What the heck is wrong with you? She's moonstruck. This is a mermaid thing, by the way. Moonstruck. Arisa has become entranced by the light of the moon. Be careful, as this hypnotic state can have unpredictable effects on her powers. What does this mean? What does this mean she's gonna do? What is this mean Arista's gonna do? <laughs> Moana could have Nani and Lilo too. I do actually already have them in my game. I do have Nani and Lilo already. Apparently it makes her do push-ups. I like how all her sisters are just listening to Ariel sing. <gasps> Wait a second. Please pause. I have an idea. I'm so concerned for her. How's your guys' ears? is like 40 bucks but usually it goes on sale pretty often so i would wait till it's on sale carson i only did this body type because it's the body type that the, all the mermaids had in the little mermaid so that's the only reason that they're like all this like little skinny skinny skinnies because the mermaids and the little mermaid are like sickly skinny so that's the only reason why 
And don't compare yourself. This is a sim. <laughs> You're all right. Oh, I'm missing the concert coming to Twitch. Get. <laughs> the singing is atrocious and I love it. Scuttle has arrived. Very Sebastian-like. <laughs> Gene says mute. No! <laughs> the one sister's like, no. Look how tried it and just listening to- Oh! What is happening to Arista? What is Arista doing? Hi! Sorry, it's Gamer! Hello! <laughs> Thank you for the raid! <laughs> Don't mind me, we are just doing the Disney Princess. Don't listen to the terrible singing behind me. We are doing the Disney Princess challenge right now. I'm gonna be wrapping up here shortly uh, soon, but thank you so much for the raid. <laughs> Sari, is it Sari? Sari's Gamer? I appreciate that, by the way. <laughs> so we're currently working on Ariel and all her sisters, as you can see, they're all uh, singing. I don't know what this one's doing. She's being very suspicious. I'm gonna back up a second because their singing is super powerful right now. <laughs> She's making everyone flirty? It seems so Arista's voice is being argue augmented by the moon's energy. For the next several hours, her voice will be enchanted, ringing with a beautiful cadence. <gasps> that would be clamoring to hear. That is gorgeous. Okay, so one of my mermaids is moonstruck, but I'm Hayesh Beatty. I'm doing the Disney Princess Challenge right now. We are currently working on Ariel, as you can see. I'm actually going to be wrapping up here shortly, but if you would like to see more of my Disney Princess Challenge, please go ahead and leave a follow. I would super appreciate it. Let me also, while well, they're all singing really loudly and awkwardly in the background, sorry. Um, Goofa, thank you for the follow. Spooky Babe, thank you for the follow. Spacey, thank you for the follow. Uh, the, an the Antiquated Gamer, thank you so much for the follow. Scaries, thank you so much once again. Or, er, sorry, sorry. Thank you so much for that follow. I really appreciate it. And thank you so much for the raid. That is very, very... Hello, it's like Aries with an S. So Ceres, Ceres, thank you so much. Thank you so much for telling me. I know. I have one of those names too that people never know how to say either. They always say like Hailish Mandy and it's Hailish Mandy. So I understand. <laughs> but if you need a raid to run, I totally understand. Like I said, I'm probably going to be piecing out myself here shortly, but I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. You're such a sweetheart. Oh my goodness. And Atlas is like, nah, fam. Yeah, the only boy in this family. Uh, he's pleasantly asleep. Well, in the meantime, all of his sisters are just <laughs> out and about singing. So beautiful. We have beautiful Atlantica here. And all of the six, sorry, the seven daughters of Trident are out practicing their singing outside in the moonlight right now. <laughs> I'm off to bed at 3 a.m. here. Good night, sweet dreams. Of course, I wanted to bring friends by to see you and greet, to see you and your great content. Oh, sorry, thank you. <laughs> You're serious, serious. Thank you. <laughs> I really appreciate that. Oh my gosh. How can he sleep so peacefully with all that singing? <laughs> I don't know, but let's just listen. Tried and talking to. Oh, he's talking to Adrena. Adrena's the only daughter not singing. <laughs> All right, but Ariel got to singing level nine, which is what I wanted her to get to. So I'm gonna have her just kind of go over here, away from all of her sisters who are still practicing their singing. Triton is such a supportive dad. Right, he's just in the middle. Listening to them all just singing. Also, Adrena, you need to be singing also, though. <laughs> but there, Ariel's just gonna do a little bit of swimming around, working on her mermaid skills, uh, because I am using the Better Mermaids mod. So, hopefully I can get her to get that XP up just a little bit. <laughs> Good night! Oh my gosh. But yes, I hope you guys all have a beautiful, wonderful weekend. 
I hope you guys all have a lot of fun plans and everything like that. Oh my gosh. Um, but yes, I'm very excited to continue this challenge. So like I said, on Monday when I come back at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Monday, I will be going back to Ariel here. She's going to start rebelling against her dad, leaving the lot because really she hasn't strayed that far from Atlantica yet she's strayed farther than her siblings because she's gone at least like to this island and none of her siblings have gone all the way over here yet but next time when we come back Ariel's going to be getting more into rebelling she's going to be she's going to find Eric she's going to fall in love with him she's going to meet Ursula I'm going to be signing those contracts maybe losing that voice and stuff like that. So I'm very excited to go about and doing that. Also, if anybody commented about how to get the contracts to work and has this mod and has that issue, let me know. Go to the Discord and tell me if you could. But in the meantime, I'm gonna have to figure that out. What's a mod? A mod is um, a piece of content that does not come with the game. So I'm using the Better Mermaids mod. It is a basically a mod that allows me to take a function that's not normally in the game that I downloaded off the internet and make it playable in my game. So it's a modification to the game. It changes how the game works in a way that The Sims doesn't let you do by itself, but because of the amazing people who make amazing mods on the internet that allows me to download them and put them in my game to be able to change how my game works. Custom content is basically, um, if you, you hear where people refer to CC, that stands for custom content, like that's stuff like her hair, makeup, clothing, uh, furniture, stuff like that. Things that I can add to the game that change the way some things looks, but don't change how the game itself runs. A mod changes how the game itself works. So mods and CC are different in that way. I hear people use those words interchangeable, like they call all custom content mods. And that annoys me because it's CC for hair and clothing and furniture and stuff like that but things that changed the script forming of the game. That's a mod. Mods are normally free. You don't buy mods. Mods are free. They, you just kind of download them off the internet. All right, but I'm gonna be piecing out. I would definitely Google it. Go check it out. Google Sims for mods. Do watch some YouTube videos about how to install mods and CC and stuff like that. That's the best way to learn, I found, because me telling you about it ain't gonna get, uh, it's not, you're not gonna learn nothing. Going to YouTube, watching uh, videos, about how to install CC and mods like this, probably the best thing you could do. Um, the only thing though is only PC gamers, only people who have the Sims on PC and laptops and stuff like that are able to download mods. Sadly, those of you who play on console, you can't because console sucks like that. So I'm gonna be doing a raid. I'm gonna be let going of you guys on TikTok. So goodbye, my TikTok fam. Uh, follow, enjoy if you have not already. You know all the things, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> all right and let's do ahead and do a raid have a good night thank you so much series again for the awesome raid now i'm gonna take everybody else and we're gonna do another raid because we're gonna raid 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 and run <laughs> let's go to oh is there anybody that i haven't done in a while oh this one let's do this one because it feels on point for today <laughs> everything out correctly because i hate it when that happens all right, as soon as this raid is ready to go, I'm gonna be peacing out. So like I said, thank you guys all so much for a wonderful night. I hope you guys all have a wonderful weekend. I'll be getting back to this later on. I love you guys and I'll see you guys all the next time. I love you so much. Bye!